The Federal Polytechnic of Oil and Gas in Bayelsa State will be shut down at the end of the month if the federal government fails to pay full salaries and shortfalls since 2015. Now, this was one of the resolutions reached in Yenagoa at a Congress of Staff of the Polytechnic, where they also denied receipt of 497 million naira allegedly paid to defray claims of a shortfall in 2017. Ovia George has details. Students watch from the hostel as staff of the Federal Polytechnic of Oil and Gas Ekewe march around the institution in protest over shortfalls in salary and non-payment of hazard and other allowances. That was on the 28th of June, 2018. Today, almost a year after the protest, the problem lingers. What has Federal Polytechnic Ekewe done? That our money, instead of going up, is coming down. We are equally using this medium to call our members in the Federal House to please ensure that they hear the cry of Federal Polytechnic Ekewe workers. A member of one of the unions traces the problem to the first year of manifestation. 2016, there was shortfall. When they came and they confirmed it, they said it to be resolved in 2017. Presidential Initiative for Continuous Auditing. They came. They came and did that of 2018 again. We did not see any result up until now. And the other uh, sister federal polytechnics or federal institutions that have this have been all addressed. The most part of it is this idea of being given at the uh, remark column paid 497 million naira and nothing has been paid to any member of the staff. We are suffering. Officials and members of the Senior Staff Association of Nigeria Polytechnics, Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics Nigeria, and Academic Staff Union of Universities take a stand on the matter after a congress in Yenagoa. If by the end of this month we still experience shortfall in our salaries, the school will be shut down indefinitely until federal government comes to our hearing. What that means is that we want 100% of our salary because we have suffered enough. Enough is enough. We've gone to Abuja, we've gone to Pika office, we've met those who are responsible. They told us they were coming for a verification. Verification exercise has, has been done, it has been carried out. But to our greatest surprise, nothing is being done. We've cried out. I think this is going to be the final cry that we're going to cry. Of a truth, we've even resolved that we're going to the east-west road to ensure that we attract government attention. Staff of the three unions boast of a clean bill of health should the presidential initiative on continuous audit choose to visit the Polytechnic for a verification of their status. Ovietime George, TVC News, Yenagoa, Bayelsa State.